I'm Simran Sethi with EcoBiz, small profiles of people making big ecological advances in the business world. When most of us shop for jewelry, we're thinking more about looking good than doing good. But this company believes you can have it both ways with a concept called sustainable luxury. From the exotic landscape of Bali comes an equally distinctive brand of jewelry inspired by one man's passion to combine social responsibility with exquisite craftsmanship. There is a real story behind the John Hardy brand. In the 1970s, Canadian art student John Hardy visited Bali and was captivated by its culture. John arrived there, fell in love and never left. Hardy studied silversmithing techniques with local artisans, developing not just the look of the line that bears his name, but the philosophy as well. Create the most beautiful pieces of handmade jewelry while respecting Bali's land, people, and culture. John Hardy has always been very focused on our impact on the environment. Current CEO Damien Dernancourt continues to ingrain environmental consciousness into the heart of the company, practicing a principle it calls sustainable luxury. Sustainable luxury is about making uh, jewelry in a responsible way. The piece of jewelry is as amazing from the outside than from the inside. The jewelry industry is not a very clean industry. There is a lot of metal extraction, stone extraction. The mining and manufacturing processes used in the making of conventional jewelry are energy intensive and pollute the environment with waste products. John Hardy looks for more eco-friendly ways. We can make it more sustainable by using, for instance, recycled gold and recycled silver. The piece I really like is this big Cali pendant. The philosophy is evident throughout the company, from the buildings made from local materials like bamboo. We want to minimize our impact on the environment, so we have what we call low-impact building. To the nearby organic farms. We decided to, um, to feed the workers by ourselves and to give them organic food. So we grew up four different farms around the compound and every day we're having fresh food coming to the, to the workshop. The company also noticed one of the greatest contributors to its carbon footprint was coming from the energy used while producing print advertising and catalogs. So it developed a strategy called sustainable advertising. Sustainable advertising is our first step. We want to be a company which has a neutral carbon footprint. For this silver cuff, we planted 26 bamboo. By planting bamboo in a local reforestation project, John Hardy offsets the emissions associated with its magazine and newspaper ads. This is the latest example of the company's continuous commitment to sustainability. It's really uh, a state of mind, a spirit for, from all the employees in the company on how can we do better, how can we use less paper, how can we use and consume less resources still providing an incredible product for our customer. There is a lot of dream for this company. There is a lot of things possible. I'm Simran Sethi with EcoBiz. For more information, visit our website at sundancechannel.com slash ecobiz. What can you do? Visit sundancechannel.com slash ecobiz.